Hello and welcome, my name is Lexi, and today we are going to be taking a look at the new Byredo Liquid Lipstick Vinyls. And I picked up four of the 10 shades. This is Lucia Pica's first actual product that's come to fruition through Byredo. So as we know, she was previously at Chanel. She was Chanel's creative director. They currently do not have a creative director. Lucia Pica is now the creative director essentially at Byredo. And this is the first thing that we have seen from her so far. So we have a line of 10 liquid lipsticks. This is the packaging on these. These are vegan and they retail for 50 US dollars here in the States. You can get them a little bit less, oh, I believe it was like $41 and 50 cents at Selfridges. So if you have a Selfridges membership, that might be worth it to you. But you can see you've got kind of this, uh, it's not really a triangle because it's kind of like, um, here, I think it's easier to see from here. <laughs> and that, that brings me to another point. At the bottom of these stickers, you will see that they say like 203. I do have one that says 201. These are not the color numbers. If you wanna see the color name and number, you actually have to peel this back and then you have it on here. So it's just a little bit misleading in a sense to me, but this is going to be a liquid lipstick. You've got more of like a lip gloss applicator here. You can see it is a uh, flocked applicator. It's lightly flocked, so you don't have too much product that comes on here, and it's really easy to use. Let's go ahead and talk about the four shades that I picked up and start with packaging first. So this is how they will arrive. I ordered mine from Byredo, but right now Byredo is running an offer on their website where with your purchase, you get a free invisible lip liner. They don't have colored lip liners at Byredo right now, but this is the box and it will come wrapped in plastic. All the ingredients are listed on the Byredo website, but these are vegan. They have a two year shelf life as well. And it is going to be a push through. Inside you have a little Byredo canvas bag and then in here is your liquid lipstick. So this first shade here is Reasonable Doubt. This is nude. All 10 shades are considered nudes. And you can see how the applicator goes on, how the color kind of spreads out. And this is going to give you a kind of like a vinyl shine. These are intended to be long wearing. We'll talk a little bit about the details in a few minutes when we look at lip swatches. Let's go through the colors first. This one here is flushed. So this is going to be more of your pink shade. You can see here that Reasonable Doubt is actually more of a warmer nude. I believe they called it a cooled nude on the website, but you can see it's definitely going to be a bit warmer. It's brown. There is a little faint touch of like a warm rusty red in there, which gives it that warmthness. And then flushed here is going to be pink. There's a touch of mauve in there, but there's also a touch of peach. So it's really going to be more of a neutral shade because you kind of have a bit of both warm and cool tones in there. This one here is Vesuvio, which is going to be an orange. And I just thought this shade would be perfect for fall. It actually looks a little bit more of a burnt orange online, but you can see it is gonna be a bit more vibrant. It is mostly a pumpkin orange with just the faintest like 10% burnt orange in it. Those are all going to be kind of your straight up shades here with no sparkle or shimmer, but there is one of the 10 shades which is this one here, Bese Cosmique, which does have shimmer in it. So this is gonna be a dark pink with gold sparkle. And I believe that's how they described it on the website. And you can see this one's gonna be cooler in tone. It's gonna be more of like a, more of a raspberry pink, but it's a little bit deeper. Like a true crushed raspberry is gonna be kind of brighter than this. This is gonna be a bit more muted and you can see you've got some gold sparkle in there. So these are the four that I picked up, but again, there are six additional shades. One of those shades is going to be a clear gloss shade, which you can use either on the lips or you can use it as an eye gloss. So let's talk a little bit about this while we look at the lip swatches here. 
And for the lip swatches, I did rub my lips together to kind of disperse the product evenly before going in with a second coat. You can see that's basically as sheer as you're going to get it <laughs> with, with that. So overall, these are a liquid lipstick. They are not a gloss. So they're going to be opaque in color. They definitely have a vinyl t a texture to them. If you're familiar with the YSL, vinyl lip stains. I don't have any right now, but I used to wear those all the time. They definitely have a very similar vinyl texture, but I felt like those had a little bit more like of a, a little more of an oiliness to them. They were a little bit thinner in texture, yet they could be a little sticky at times, depending on the shade. And this is intended to be non-sticky. I would say it's not sticky on my lips at all, but it does not completely dry down ever. So it's always gonna be a little bit wet. So you always have transfer. So if your hair does get in it, I do end up having color transfer. So like I ended up with like a line on my cheek where a strand of hair fell in it. So that's just something to note. However, you can blot these. And I have worn these, I've worn these for several days now. So I've been testing these out. If I apply it and then I blot it, I don't have that issue. But if I apply it and I leave it kind of built up with more of that glossy texture, that's when I do end up having a little bit more transfer. Now these are long wearing, but what that means is not that these are gonna be like long wearing, like a matte liquid lipstick. These are not gonna be all day wear, but you are going to get a little bit, like maybe an hour or two longer than a traditional lipstick. So the, the color definitely stays around. The deeper shades, obviously you're going to end up with more pigment on your lips than you do with the lighter shades as time goes on. But they do kind of maintain this like lovely vinyl glossy look to your lips. So even as the color kind of fades and wears throughout the day, it never looks matte. Like for example, if you have a lipstick and the shine from the lipstick's wearing down, you're gonna be left with kind of more of a matte pigment on your lips. That's not really what happens. You still end up retaining some of that shine and that sheen from the vinyl texture of this lip product. So I think that's really cool and that's something that I find to be different from other liquid lipsticks that I have in my collection. So I feel like this is a win. Now there is fragrance to this liquid lipstick and it's a very soft fragrance. It's actually not that noticeable. So when you open it up, it's not like overpowering, for example, like a Gucci liquid lipstick or something like that, but there is one. So to me, it smells very soft. It has more of a vanilla base to it, but it's just a little bit of vanilla. That's actually not what I smell first, but it's kind of like vanilla mixed with a little bit of fruit and a little bit of floral. Very light though. So I actually don't mind the fragrance at all, and it is towards the end of the ingredients list. I have not noticed any taste with these liquid lipsticks. And I have to say they have worn really well even through a meal. So you are gonna get transfer, you are gonna lose product through a meal. I had, for example, after a hot fudge sundae, my color was still there, but I definitely did end up removing color while I was eating. So it just, it takes a while for it to actually be noticeable on your lips that you are losing some of that product because it is so opaque with just the littlest amount uh, that even as you lose some of that product, you still kind of retain that same level of pigmentation. And again, that vinyl texture really continues to give you that shine even as the product continues to fade throughout the day. So, so my thoughts on this lipstick, I really like these. I think this was a great start with Lucia Pica at Byredo. I'm really excited to see where she goes from here. And I'm loving the color palette that she came up with here. There are a lot of great shades for every day, as well as some more like rusty shades for fall. So I'm really loving that. Let's go through some comparisons and Again, these are the four Byredo shades. So we've got Reasonable Doubt, Flushed, Vesuvio, and Beze Cosmique. And let me just show you, this has been now on my arms for about 12 minutes. And you can see that it will still kind of spread and smear. And you can see it on my finger here. Now, let's talk a little bit about some different formulas, but first I wanna take a look at the Byredo Shimmery Nudes collection that came out last year. And we're just gonna swatch these. This one here is Feverish. 
This is the sparkly shade that came out last year. You can see this is more of a metallic. It's kind of a peachy pink with some gold. It's going to lean a little bit warmer. And then we have Amber and Furs. This is a really beautiful like nude shade here. And I wanted to show you how it is going to be just a little, it's kind of similar to Reasonable Doubt but you can see that amber and furs is going to be a little bit lighter it's also a little bit cooler in tone there's like a touch of pink in it whereas there's going to be more brown in reasonable doubt this one here is vio rose and let me just put that right there so you can see the color there that's going to be closest to the Bessé cosmique but so you can see that vio rose is going to be a little bit more plummy than Bessé Cosmique, which has a little bit more red. There's a little bit more pink in Bessé Cosmique, and a little bit more purple in Vio Rose. And then this one here is Damson Jam, which you can see is gonna be warmer than Bessé Cosmique. It's going to be more of a soft red in comparison. And let me just put that one right up here with, you can see here is another layer, Damson Jam with flushed there and you can see that Damson Jam is going to again have a little bit more red in there but it's going to be deeper when you put this on compared to flushed. Flush is definitely going to be a softer pink in comparison. So I just want to say that those Byredo lipsticks, the Shimmery Nudes Collection, are some of my favorite lipsticks. I absolutely love them. I love the shades they came out with and I do find some similarities with some of those shades. So that's why I wanted to compare them. I feel like those are probably my most similar shades. And obviously the product itself is very different, but let's talk a little bit about the some other products. I feel like texturally and with the finish, the closest product to that is actually the Suku Comfort Lip Fluid Glows. So I just call them the Suku Lip Glows. And they also have a matte version of these, which I absolutely love, but this is their high shine version. And I feel like the wear and everything is pretty similar with the Suku as it is with the um, Byredo. However, I feel like the Byredo, the pigmentation, well, uh, they they might last slightly longer. It's gonna be pretty close. I feel like texturally they're pretty similar. The Suku is a little bit thinner on my lips than the Byredo, but I do feel like they're similar. This is shade 03, which is one of the permanent shades at Suku. And you know, it's not really going to match any of these, but I did want to kind of show that one as an option because the other two I have here for comparison were limited edition and they are no longer available. So we have 104 here. And let's see here. Well, let's just put 104 right there. You can see that's gonna be deeper, but in the pot, you could see it looked a little bit more similar to a cross between Vesuvio and Beze Cosmique. And I would say once you swipe it, it's really not. And then this one here is 102 which again, limited edition, we're gonna put this one right next to Vesuvio. So if anybody already has that, you can see that these are gonna be similar. This has a little bit more of that burnt orange vibe in it than Vesuvio does. Vesuvio is a little bit brighter, but you can see tonally they're pretty similar. And one other thing I wanna notice just about the texture, or I wanna note about the texture of these is that the, if you look at the Byredo, there's a little bit more of a uh, translucent shine. It's almost like you have more of like a clear coat on there. Whereas the Suku, it's a shiny cream. So there's a little bit less, it, it looks like something that is a little bit more opaque. Whereas the Byredo, again, almost looks as though you have a topper, kind of like the Chanel these are the La Rouge Duo Ultra Tenue Glosses. Now I have a few of these. People love these. These will stay put. They're essentially mask proof, transfer proof products. And you have two ends. On this end, you have this liquid lipstick. This one here is 174 Endless Pink. So with the Chanel, you put this on. It's it's actually a matte lipstick here. So you're gonna give this like a minute or two, let it set, let it dry. 
And then once that dries, it's gonna feel a little, you can feel it on your lips as it's drying. It gets a little uncomfortable. And then you're gonna to top it with the other end, which is a clear gloss. But first, let's go ahead and swatch these. So this is the other one I have, or well, I have another one here. This one here is going to be 172 Light Mauve. This one is probably my favorite of the three that I have. I don't love these as much as other people do, so I actually don't have a lot of these. This is 112 Chic Rosewood, and you can see it's a lot deeper than you might expect looking at the container here. So these are the three. I'd say that 172 and 174 mixed together gives you something close to flushed, but these three shades themselves don't actually match any of the shades here. So after this dries, then you go into the black end and you have kind of this clear gloss and you're just gonna put this on top and you get kind of this high shine finish there. And these will like kind of stay put and last throughout the day. Again, that's because again, that matte liquid lipstick, that product is going to last on your lips. The gloss can wear off and you can add more gloss. That's why they give you more uh, volume here in the gloss end than the pigment end. But yeah, so this is gonna give you kind of a similar finish to it. It's a two-step process. They will last a bit longer. I just personally don't care for the way they feel on my lips, but they are a favorite with pretty much everybody I've ever spoken with. So if it's something you're looking for, that might be a good option as well. Now, as for how these will look on your lips when they are all done and set compared to the Byredo, the Chanel, it's really gonna depend how much gloss you put on. You can either stick without the gloss and have more of that matte look, or the more gloss you add, the shinier it'll be, the more gloss-like it'll look on your lips. So you can kind of customize that depending on how much gloss you add. So just something to note there. I have to say overall though, I really love these new Byredo liquid lipsticks and I think they're gorgeous. They're very comfortable to wear. Again, I've been wearing these for a few days now and I just love the way they feel on my lips. They're not drying at all. They're very comfortable. They almost feel, I mean, more of a gloss lipstick hybrid. Um, but again, they have more of that vinyl texture just a really great product. So let me know if you've tried any of these, if you're interested in any of these, and I will see you very soon. So I hope these swatches were helpful and thank you so much for tuning in. Don't forget to share and subscribe if you haven't already and I'll see you next time. Have a great day.